Hello everyone and welcome to Raven Coding. Today I wanted to show you a very simple fix that you can do to these proprietary HP motherboards. They are pretty much ATX motherboards in every respect other than the fact that they use a proprietary front panel connector for the USB 3 and USB 2.0 headers. Now, they look exactly like normal ATX form factor connectors, and the connectors are actually the same other than the fact they are wired differently internally. So if you plug these into any normal, to any normal case, any standard ATX case, since most cases don't ground this pin that this is using as a sense pin, pin number 10 here, and then this pin right here on the USB 2.0 header, since most cases don't ground these, when you plug these in to any other case other than an HP case, it's going to tell you that your connectors, your, your USB connectors are unplugged, and you have to keep pressing F1 to boot, and it's very annoying. Now, you can boot by pressing F1, and the USB ports actually work fine. It just thinks they're unplugged, because pin number 10 is ungrounded here, and this pin right here is ungrounded on this header. So all you need to do, if you're not going to be using this header for the USB 2.0, let's say you're just using the 3.0, because some cases don't have front panel USB 2.0, they just have one or the other, you can just put a jumper across those pins, like this. And then that's going to tell it that it's plugged in. It's a very simple fix. Now, if you actually want to use this header, you're plugging in a USB 2.0 front panel header or some internal USB 2.0 device, then all you need to do is solder over a jumper wire. So here you can see I just soldered a wire on the other side of the motherboard right here to this end and to this end. And I kind of bridged that with solder, but the whole point is to jump that anyway. So I probably could have just bridged that with solder, but it works as is, so I'm just gonna keep it. I used a wire because it's, it's really not, it's kind of painful to do solder bridges, I think. It's easier just to use a wire. And then here on the USB 3.0 header, this is pin number 10. We need to connect that to pin number 7. Pin number 7 is grounded, so that's just four pins down. So you just solder from here to here, and then you can use a continuity tester to make sure that it's a good connection afterwards. <clears throat> now with that simple fix, I can go ahead and plug this into any ATX case, and my USB will work fine, and it's not going to tell me that there is something unplugged. And this will function just like a standard ATX motherboard now. So if you've been throwing these motherboards out, or thinking they're useless in other cases, it's a very simple fix. You just bridge those two wires there, pin number 10 and pin number 7, and then you bridge these two wires here. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I hope those of you that have motherboards like this and want to put them in nicer cases found this useful because I couldn't find very... Like, it took forever to track down information on how to do, do this online, so... I hope this helps people out there that have these HP motherboards that are a bit of a pain in the ass otherwise. So, hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.